Daryl, that was a fantastic race. Obviously, I know that you would have liked to have won it because you're the champ. You're, you know, you're a competitor. But talk me through it. How was it from your perspective? Um, considering where I've been the past couple of weeks, um, I'm really happy with that. To come here and hopefully get picked for the world. Um, I've got the qualifying and I've come second, so hopefully they'll pick me. But yeah, I'm really happy to hopefully make the team. And go to the How are you feeling right now? How did you win? To talk to us because we haven't caught up with you. I, I was incredibly hesitant after the heat because I was just really sore. And this is what a coach is for. He spoke to me and reminded me why I'm here and what I'm here to do. And then, yeah, the fear went away and I was ready to run. How did those winter months go? I mean, it's always a hard slog. No one looks forward to it, but it's needed, right? Um, I've recently moved to train in Loughborough, the High Performance Centre, and training's gone really well. I've had a really great winter, um, which I hope means I'm going to have a great summer. The past few weeks were a bit rocky, but it's what makes a champion. What have been focusing on, particularly? Um, we decided to do the indoors because if I can be in the mix to 60, my 100 metres will be way better. So that's why I've chosen this instead of the Commonwealth this year. But to your opinion, You're not going to do the Commonwealth? I'm not going to do um, the Commonwealth. It's a bit too soon for me. I originally wanted to go back and back to back to back indoors. Didn't happen like that, but yeah, we're sticking to the plan. Okay, all right. Well, good luck. Well done today, and we'll probably speak up with you soon. All right. Thanks, guys.